Hello everyone, this is Gaming on Linux Guide. Today, we're going to take a look at getting mods working on Total War Warhammer 2 on Linux. Because the amazing mod Grimhammer 2 just released recently its latest version with the newest DLC and is pretty sweet. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that first of all this game is probably installed on an SSD because the loading times can be pretty harsh it really just depends on whether or not you have a fast hard drive and if you really don't then you really should invest in an SSD even just a small one they're like 20 to 40 bucks and you they're yeah so they're pretty cheap and you can just slot this right on there Next up, you want to go to compatibility. Currently, the latest version is Proton 5.13-5. Previously, the 5.0 was much better for performance, but currently I have found that in terms of loading times, 5.13-5 with this latest update is actually much faster. So, once you have that installed, it's really just as easy as go to the gear and properties compatibility force the use of a specific steam compatibility tool and then you select that now you might be wondering why we're using the windows version considering total war warhammer 2 is a native game i even made a video on it well that's because we want maximum mod compatibility and if you have a very large mod pack that you are running, nearly 300 mods, you are going to get much better performance out of something that is Windows-based at the moment. Soon, hopefully, Windows will have all of its .NET packages together and we can use the much better Cadrens Mod Manager, which is an unofficial mod manager, but until the underlying resource packs are finalized, uh, it does not run on Linux. So we're just going to use our you know, mod manager built into the game itself. So if you hit play, the menu comes up after a short delay, which is probably longer since I am running this off a hard drive currently. But hopefully that does it won't take too long. But yes, this is a wonderful game, and mods just really enhance it and make it absolutely amazing. And you can get craziness happening. You've got all kinds of new factions you can install. Um, there are all kinds of balancing patches like Grimhammer. Um, there's all kind. You can add new units and things like that. It really is just dependent upon uh, your imagination, mod compatibility, and of course updating to the latest DLC patch because there's that too. Because, uh, yeah, stuff breaks. Alrighty, once you are getting your launcher loaded, you're going to want to hit Mod Manager. And as I said, we've got Grim Hammer loaded up. So it'll initially be deactivated and look like this. So you're just going to either hit this or if you have more mods. Well, as I said, at one point, I don't remember what pack it was or what collection on Steam. But I had about 284 mods working concurrently on uh, Linux. And my computer is not especially fast. So uh, that didn't work out for me too well, but it may work out for you. And you don't want to just click that button because it'll take a while individually clicking them. So I've just gotten used to clicking activate all. And then you hit play. And it'll say, hey, you're playing with mods. It may be unstable. But we knew this already. So we're just going to click play. So then the game will start up. Currently it is just loading. And I will say the initial load is much longer with mods especially when as large as grim hammer especially when especially when you're getting into like the campaign map but just for right now uh you're just gonna have to bear with me a little bit uh until it is ready and started 
So right now we've got our you know main loading screen. It's got the copyright information, the logo, which I really do enjoy seeing. I love how they included sort of a Roman numeral, which is boring, and added a lizard men theme into it. Oh, there we go. Now we can just press escape a lot get past all those intros which there is a mod to skip intros alrighty so you can see that the mod is currently running because it says right here grim hammer which is the name of the mod SFO mod team and now we can go to a new campaign and then we'll go to mortal empires continue and sure we'll just start as Tyrion because why not He's the first one on the list, and he's easy. But I won't, I won't really be playing. I just wanted to show you that it loaded up and worked all right. So currently, the game is loading. This part is probably the longest load because it has all that extra data it has to contend with in a mod that wasn't initially supposed to be there, but now it is. So now it's trying to figure out how to inject all those variables in there nicely so that they all play well together because otherwise everything would crash and explode but thankfully it doesn't because the modding tools are pretty awesome that creative assembly has created for this game and uh, venris and the sfo team are pretty amazing in terms of getting stuff to work in terms of modding There may certainly well be bigger, better modders out there who do crazy stuff. Uh, but so far, the uh, SFO team has been the most consistent. And, you know, coming out with version after version after version. I mean, they started in Total War Warhammer 1, and this is Total War Warhammer 2. And they're still going strong, despite all the DLC patches breaking it constantly. In fact, uh, the latest patch, the Thro the Unclean uh, versus the Twilight Sisters, surprisingly um, took out an entire function for the mods, which was a table sort of GUI, um, so that they had to redesign that for Beastmen. But... That's not too big of a deal because Venerus, again, and the SFO team are impressive in their dedication and modding prowess with the Creative Assembly stuff. And we, our game should be loading shortly. Again, this would work much better in an SSD. I don't have an SSD to put this on for my Linux install right now. And also, I do not have the strongest computer uh, I do have a decentish graphics card, a 1080, um, a GTX 1080, but my CPU is older. It is an AMD FX 8350. So if you've got anything higher than that, you should definitely, probably not have any problem with this. All right, so now we're Tyrion, and I'm just going to show you the performance in a battle. Again, this might look a little laggy. That is simply because my computer is not strong and I don't and I'm not running it off of an SSD. If you've got either of those things, which are a stronger CPU, a stronger graphics card, and an SSD, you probably will have no problems at all. It would be awesome. But for right now, I will show you that it works. It's, uh, this game is very CPU heavy, um, and because of all, calculating all the units and attacks, so you would definitely want to focus on that if you're building a computer, specifically for Total War games, if it's your favorite. Followed by a strong SSD. So, let's see. As you can see... Battles are pretty quick to load, but they do take a little bit of time. Uh, not especially fast. And it does take a little longer because of Grim Hammer, but not too bad. I think that 
it may in some occasions actually be a little bit faster but don't quote me on that because I don't know 100% maybe it just feels that way all right here we go so I'm gonna start the battle that any unit placement I'm sorry total war warhammer 2 fans please don't uh, hate me for that and just doing a straight charge too because that is really bad tactics what is this this is a is this a ranged cart no it's just a charity I guess this is a chariot what is this this is Lance shock cavalry okay so these guys are really good at just straight up running in there and they're really because really fast all right as you can see game runs pretty well not too much of an FPS drop uh, I've got it running on low, as I said, due to my specs. And here we go. I'm going to rush in, and I will show you how it looks when units are attacking. So there you go. you still got physics and stuff, and it works pretty well. That has been this video. If you like this video, feel you please give it a like and a subscribe. And as always, I hope you have an excellent day.